Hi and welcome to the Adam Sharp channel. I'm your host Mohammad Azam and this is the part number seven of learning Cocos 2D series and we're going to learn about labels, how to create labels, how uh, one label is different from the other label and how you can also customize your menu to uh, you know create actually better menus. So let's see labels all right. So we have different labels that are available. The simplest one is a sim, uh, CC label TTF, all right? Uh, and you create it pretty easily because it uh, it gives you uh, different constructors, as you can see, uh, to, to use. So we're just going to use the first one, which is label with string, whatever string you want to display. I'm just gonna say play, font name, any font that you want to use, Marker felt is one of the name of the fonts that I'm going to use and size would be uh, 28 Let's label uh, let's put the label on the center of the screen uh, window size with divide by 2 and window size dot height divide by 2 and window size is basically coming from the uh, CC director shared director bin size property uh, and so we get that thing and we can simply add the label add child label all right let's run this and you will see a white label with a very basic label and it says play on the screen now uh, for simple things if you want to print out a message that that is not dynamic and that's not changing uh, with time then you can use this label okay no problem with that but if you have some sort of a label on the screen where the person is actually playing and you are updating the score okay then it's not really a good idea to use CC label TTF because it whenever you recreate or whenever you change it it, it recreates itself and it's a very I mean it, it hit performance pretty badly okay uh, so in my games, like Mathema Chicken, if you see the score that is changing, or if you see uh, the congratulation messages and all that stuff popping popping at you, those are all made with different kind of labels. And we're going to check it out. All right. The other label is called, let's see, CC label BM font. Okay. Now this particular label is created by a font file so you must have a font file to create this label when you create uh, when you create uh, an application you can actually here we go framework images so you can use this one actually okay so this is FPS underscore images or PNG okay so you can use this uh, but it should also have the font file like this one okay and how do you generate this FNT file is one of the softwares uh, let me uh, let's see if I can pull it up it's called there we go let's see where it is there we go this is called a glip designer okay and this is not a free software but you can search for glip designer and it's available for I don't know like 15 or maybe 30 bucks or something it's it's well worth it because you can create labels as you can see I'm choosing different things and you can create labels pretty fast and uh, you can change the label you know change the color properties and everything so I can make this uh, greenish label or you know anything like that you can see and then when I'm done when I'm happy with the label I do an export now it exports into two files it exports into FNT file which is a font file and it exports into a PNG file. Now I have already done my homework, so if I open my solution, you will see chicken underscore font dot FNT file and chicken underscore font dot PNG file, which actually tells you that this particular font file will create these kinds of fonts. Okay. So now I have to use this font, and you can actually see the, these fonts looks pretty good right so let's go ahead and use that so I can simply say CC uh, BM font label CC label BM font uh, BM font there we go 
and here we go so we have a label with string and font file so I can simply say all right play and the font file is called uh, chicken underscore font if you are thinking that why it's named chicken underscore font it's coming from my game Matama chicken uh, so here we go so we have that and now we can simply copy paste one of the lines which will position this particular label on the center of the screen so let me copy that uh, over here and then we can say self add child label okay let's run this so we have this uh, uh, label on the screen and it says play unfortunately this is a label and this is really not a menu item so you cannot really click on it if I click it doesn't really do anything usually what you want to do is to use uh, you know a label for your menu so that your menu will look cool right if you want to do that let's actually check out the menu code which we wrote in the previous uh, tutorial which was I think learning Coco's 2D tutorial number 6 about menus if you haven't watched that go check them out go check it out uh, okay so I'm going to change one of them okay CC menu item font and what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to use the awesome font that we just created chicken underscore font for my menu CC menu uh, item font and then we have different constructors over here and the one that we are interested in is this one item with label okay and over here we can use label over here it's, uh, it's pretty much the same thing and the selector is load addition okay and over here you can simply do the whole thing again which is copying this thing here we go and if I copy it over here and let's build this oops uh, what am I doing use of undeclared identifier menu item one use of undeclared identifier let's see CC CC menu item font that should be it uh, font file okay yeah I don't know I think I uh, misspelled or something so let's run this and you will you can actually see the difference right now that this one is the one the, pl the play uh, item is actually created using the uh, custom font and this one the second one is creating a normal font and you can see the difference it it really looks good the first one the play item it really looks good and most probably in your games you you want you know to have this kind of look as, uh, instead of the plain white look okay so that's pretty much it uh, so in this tutorial we learn about how to create fonts and uh, you know you uh, you can just go ahead and uh, check out the uh, glib designer I, I love this software where it is uh, because uh, you know it, it allows you to create fonts really really quickly and it, it really has a very nice effect for the fonts All right. that's pretty much it thank you very much I hope you enjoyed this video